everyone. Today we're going to be learning about algebraic expressions. Our learning target for today is I can represent a number story using an algebraic expression. Let's start by reviewing what an algebraic expression is. First of all, an expression is kind of like half of a number story. It doesn't have the equal sign or a greater than or less than sign. Instead, it just represents a situation with numbers and letters or just with numbers. So let me give you an example. My daughter Grace here on the left, she has always been about two inches shorter than Hope for, the, for a while now. And we could represent Grace's height. Let's say that Grace is when she was 38 inches, Hope would be 40 inches. When she was, say, 40 inches, Hope would be about 42 inches. So how could we represent this if Grace's height was, say, y inches? Well, we could just simply say y plus 2 if Hope were to stay consistently 2 inches taller. Let's think of another situation. What if we had, say, an apple pie? And then we went to the store and bought twice as many. Then we'd have two apple pies compared to the one that we started with. What if we then went the following day and bought twice as many as that? Then we would have four apple pies. Well, what if we went the following day and had twice as many as that? So how could we express this situation? Could we think about this as a number? So maybe I want to start by thinking about where I started. I started with 1, and then I doubled it, so I had 2. The next time I started with 2, and then I doubled it to 4. And then I had 4, and I doubled to 8. So what if I had p? Then we double it, so we do p times 2. Okay, now without having a visual, we can sometimes look at words to describe situations and use those to write expressions. So, if we had the uh, number story of 6 times the sum of 9 and some number, well, I always want to start with where I have an unknown. So my unknown is right here. This is some number is the unknown. So I'm going to start with that and I'll call it n. So I have to make it 6 times the sum. So I know I'm adding of 9 and some number. So I'm going to write 9 plus, or n plus 9 to show the sum of 9 and some number. And then I know I need to do that times 6. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. And I'm going to write times 6. Here's another situation. Isaac collected twice as many cans as Alex. If Alex collected A cans, how many did Isaac collect? So pause the video and try that one on your own. If Alex collected A cans, Isaac collected twice as many. So A times 2. Okay, here's another one for you to pause and try on your own. 10 times the product of a number and 6. So start with the part that you don't know and then fill in the rest. Pause the video and try that one out. So I'm going to start with n and then it says a product. So I'm going to write n times 6 and then it's 10 times that. So I'll multiply this whole thing times 10. Okay, that's all for today. Here are two quiz questions for you to try out. First one is 7 less than the product of a number and 6. And the second one is triple or three times the sum of a number and 20. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night.